All right, guys, so we do know that the slime collab for global is going to be coming in about a week and a half, a little less than that. So I wanted to make this video because I know a lot of people have been going back and forth between wanting to summon and, you know, should they summon. Now, I'll be completely honest with you. If you are a free to play player, it might be the smartest decision to skip. And here's why I say this right here's why I say this. We don't know what's gonna come for the anniversary, so you know you might want to prioritize the anniversary unit rather than the collab unit. It is a little like hard to say because the collab units are rare, right? They don't come back for a long time if they even come back. So it's a little hard to say, but I do know that there are a lot of free-to-play players in this game that might have trouble deciding on whether to summon or not. Now, if you have like gems to spare i would say yeah you can summon at least to 300 uh maybe you'll get rimaru maybe you'll get shuna and i never tell people to spend right i never tell people to spend money in these games because i don't really think it's um smart to actually spend in gacha games i really don't because you can get yourself in trouble you can find yourself in a hole because i myself find myself in trouble um quite often with these packs but i will say this this pack right here guarantees you a slime collab character so if you do decide to spend it should be on this um you can get the new rimaru shuna or the three old collab units right i think the worst is the worst one to get shuna I don't know. I actually don't know if the worst out of all these five uh, collab characters is Shuna. T I think it is. I actually think Shuna might be the worst out of these uh, out of these five because these three, these three um, old slime collab characters, they get buffed. They get buffed, and it actually makes them viable. So, I would say yeah, Shuna might be Shuna might be the worst you could get, maybe, but. I don't know it's hard to say she is still a rare collab character right so it's not like you're getting a major l but i mean it is pretty bad if you only get shuna from this but i mean it is a you know a guaranteed slime collab character and if you pull the new rimaru you won't have to summon on the banner unless you absolutely want the the old collab characters right at that point it's all on you if you pull the new rimaru from the pack i really don't think you should summon but if you really really want the old ones i could understand right you know content creators make them look very good make them look very powerful so i can understand why you would want them plus they're rare units so if you're free to play who's like struggling maybe to get some gems even though it's not too too hard to get gems in the game all you really got to do is keep up with pvp do your dailies um you know collect every type of gem that comes through events and stuff like that it's not terribly hard to get gems in this game it's really not but um yeah if you're someone who really values gems then yeah you probably would want to skip the banner but if you're someone who collects characters all the time no matter what then obviously you're going to summon on this on this banner right you're just you just are so if you're someone who collects characters then this is the banner for you i guess so um but with that said and out of the way for those who are like okay i can just buy gems or you know i can get gems easily whatever if you're thinking about summoning on the banner consider the fact that they have green lily on this <laughs> consider that fact they have green lilia on the banner which is horrible and then they have all these um coin shop characters as well so they have green derriere green esterosa and blue droll now when i take a look at this these three aren't the worst these three actually aren't the worst you could get because derriere is good for belmoth esterosa is still good for tower trials and other uh pve content and droll you can still use him in pvp he's still useful he has his uses when you it's when you get to these three these three i guess these four right these four just oh my god man they are like eskinor is just not that good demon melee is not <laughs> red demon melio is not that good merlin's good for alt russian but that's about it lilia is not that good like at all um and then these three got buffed which again makes them viable so i actually wouldn't say pulling them is like the fact that they're on the banner is not bad actually like I'm not even kidding like the fact that they're on the banner is not bad but overall in terms of like the like unfeatured i, I mean if they would have just changed these four into something like even nanashi i mean if lilia was like i don't know nanashi or something like that it would be better 
if these three i don't know were just changed to be better characters right it wouldn't be too too bad but the banner itself is not good right i i would actually consider this banner not that good if you're a new player who just downloaded the game because of the collab then sure right these are you know you you know you want to have in your box just for box you see and stuff like that and it is good that they do have coin shop characters on uh you know on banners so that way you don't have to spend your platinum coins to buy them through the shop but when it's on a banner like this i don't know man it just becomes like why would i even summon on the banner right so i guess i would say it would be smart to skip but again this is a collab banner we don't know if it'll ever return again and if it does it won't be into a while so i mean at the end of the day it's up to you right i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say you're dumb for summoning on this banner at all um right it's up to you at the end of the day because again it is a 300 out of 600 uh gem banner you keep that in mind you could pull one of the collab units from this ssr you could and then you could only spend 300 and walk away with a w with uh I guess all five, but like again, she, I'm not the biggest finisher. Me, me personally, she could be good. I don't, you know, I don't know, Ray. Maybe I'm just not giving her enough credit. She could be good, but as far as I see, she's just basically like a support type unit for for uh, Rimuru. And I, I, Ram kind of does it better. I'm not gonna lie, Ram kind of does it a little bit better. Uh, but maybe I'm just nitpicking at her. I don't know. But yeah, you could walk away with a, a unit from this 300 guaranteed, right? The mileage. You could pull new Rimuru from this and be absolutely okay, right? That's where this this uh, 300 could be good. But if you pull from the 300 like Green Lilia, Red Escanor, Merlin, like you're gonna be you're gonna be sad. I I know for a fact you're gonna be sad. But I mean. Like I said, at the end of the day, it, it's up to you guys whether or not you want to summon. I just don't think the banner is all that. It, ju it just isn't. This is how they really get you with these collab banners, though. They throw in these random ass units that you might not even be thinking about. And they're like, okay, here's the banner. Good luck. Good luck getting the new Rimuru with um with you pulling five red Demon Meliodas. Good, good luck. Right? That's how they get you. And it sucks. But it is what it is. Now, again, I do say the ticket is probably going to be your best friend. The, t the ticket is probably going to be your best friend here. Because... If you can pull the new Rimuru from this ticket, you won. Like, you just straight up won. Um, but yeah, don't chase dupes. That is one thing I will, you know, call you out on. If you're free to play, if you're, if you can spend and, you know, get 6 out of 6 or whatever. But if you're, if you are actually free to play trying to chase dupes for any of these, uh, actually, yeah, for any of these characters on here, you're dumb. Like, you're just, you're just dumb. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're just dumb but again it is a collab banner so it's very rare um units that you know probably won't come back until a year or so or we don't know if they'll even come back but i i think that you know if you summon on the banner you, you know and you get rimuru the new rimuru you get the old rimuru old rimuru is out for free by the way they do give out the old rimuru for free so i guess maybe maybe this is an l getting a copy of rimuru i guess that is where the l is if you get a copy of blue rimuru because again they give them out for free um if you don't have them so maybe that's where the l is but otherwise like you you, you definitely could walk away with w uh with these units right with these units so the fact that the blue rimuru is free is good I, I like that i like that they're giving out the blue rimuru for free um and for people who have summoned on rimuru in the past and maybe got him five out of six there you go you got the last dupe i only have a one out of six so he'll be two out of six so i guess that's pretty good so yeah keep in mind that the banner is um up for three weeks i believe three weeks for the banner to be up and you can summon um you know they do have tickets for sale it's kind of weird though kind of weird um that the, these are like, yeah because these are the tickets oh no 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 okay 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 these are what they equal out to okay because I, I was about to say they'll, they'll, those are the ticket sales but it's not um i think they still have the regular ticket prices i don't think it shows it on here you know it doesn't show it on here at all but yeah it does have the regular ticket prices um but yeah so this is the banner how it looks honestly guys it's up to you I, I, it's up to you how you're looking these again these three they get buffed so that is good the fact that they got buffed i can show it really like really quick i guess um the units that got buffed because you guys probably already seen 
all of this stuff but it, it's nice to just you know show you guys what what they have and stuff like that so this is Rimuru now so before his passive was horrible because you had to build it up 10 times like 10 times he had to take 10 hits now he only has to take four um so it increases his defense related stats by 12 percent so i think at the max you can get this is 48 I think it's 48 percent defense related stat increase at max that is really good his rupture unfortunately is still pretty bad like his damage is horrible his damage is like just garbage basura right it's negligible his damage is horrible but his tanking is so powerful the fact that they made him a very good tank character is is huge it's actually really big you can see right here what his stats are now at base uh 55 crit resistance 50 crit defense topple on the fact that he gets 48 extra you're reaching 100 basically with cosmetics he taunts debuff immunity so he can't take any debuffs very strong very strong ability i wish it was two turns for um rank two and three turns for rank three but it is what it is uh his ultimate didn't get changed at all so he's actually pretty good like rimuru is actually nice his holy relic is a little counteractive to his passive he gets okay so for every four percent decrease in his hp he increases his attack related stats by one percent when using skills um it's a little weird because you don't like he's a he's a tank right that is what they tried to make him a tank or they did make him a tank now a better tank than what he was before uh so the fact that he needs to kind of lose hp is weird i i feel like this could have just been the merlin passive to be completely honest with you like if it was merlin's passive as a holy relic it would be a lot better but i mean it is what it is his damage is horrible anyway it doesn't it, it, it actually doesn't matter like i don't think his holy relic's gonna like it'll make him a little bit better but like rupture is just not it <laughs> like rupture sometimes is just not it because you're dependent on boss I really think they should change Rupture into two times damage against buffed and uh, stanced enemies. I really think they should just take away break from the game and just put Rupture as both. I really do. But all right, that's Rimuru. Rimuru is really good. Now we go to Benny Maru. Benny Maru is interesting. I don't know how he... I don't know how he's going to perform, but he is interesting. He is pretty interesting. So he's a weak point unit. No buff to the single target weak point. Um... So now he increases damage dealt by 15% per hero skill use four times. So all you got to do is use his skills four times, any of these, by the way, and you just got to use it four times. And then his damage in or dealt will increase by 15%. So how much is that? 15, 30, 45, 6, 60. Wow. Okay. So 60% to his damage dealt. Damage dealt is weird. Like the way it works in the game is actually strange. It's not like it's, um, it's not like it's a pure attack buff. It's 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 very weird how it's scaled. Um, yeah, it's just it's just very weird how it's scaled. You have to see it more in game than how I can describe it. But it's just very weird how it works. But it helps him out a lot, with, especially with his weak point. It really really makes a difference. Um, he can apply his own weak point as well. He decreases defense related stats. The only L that they did to this Benny Maru is that this debuff does not work with ludo like it actually will not proc at all like it, it won't so i think they did this because they don't want you to have the weak point damage with ludo passive on top of the, the defense related decrease but arthur's holy relic debuff works for some reason arthur's holy relic debuff works but i'm not sure if it'll proc that weak i don't know man it's weird because if arthur's holy relic debuff same thing as this by the way if arthur's holy relic debuff decreases defense related stats in procs with ludo why doesn't it stupid it's, it's just stupid and then his holy relic increases his uh, attack related stats by 20 percent when attacking debuffed enemies and recovers 25 percent of the hero's max hp so he recovers hp and then his attack related stats go up even more so keep in mind these are his base stats right um level one but yeah level one base stats these are his base stats without cosmetics 20% he's at 90 literally at the minimum he's at 90 right there and then he's at 190 here um 
he has a weak point damage don't increase like he's gonna he's gonna hit hard benny maru is gonna hit really hard bro so um yeah benny maru is looking like a fun unit very viable and then finally we get to the unit that i personally hated for the longest time but now she might actually be good um oh might actually be what am i saying she is good she's actually strong very very i think she's the w out of all the old units um i don't know if she's like I don't know if she's like insanely busted, but she's definitely better than she was. Definitely a lot better than she was. And keep in mind that before you had to build this up, what was it 10 times as well? Now it's only four. She increases her crit damage by 20% per hero skill use. So similar to Benny Morrow. So you can get this up to 80% max. Um, bruh. So yeah. And then she has spike two times the crit damage. Um, bruh. And then she has this, uh, this move right here it did get buffed by the way so now she has two effects where she disables ultimate move on one enemy on rank one and two but then she has dissolve where she depletes ultimate move gauge orbs by one it doesn't increase on rank it stays at one orb but that is very good very very good especially at rank three because not only will she do aoe on rank three weird that it's only aoe rank three but on rank three she disables all enemies all and then she applies dissolve at the same time very powerful effect right there very very powerful her detonate got buffed um you know because tarmio came out and buffed detonate so her multiplier on detonate is even stronger her uh holy relic very powerful holy relic because basically if she moves ranks up her skills by combining and stuff like that her crit chance and crit damage increased by 10 percent for three turns up to five so she gets an additional 50 percent at max from her holy relic with the 80 percent crit damage here i'm telling you right now like her damage is like actually stupid like it is actually dumb the amount of damage that she does she is squishy as hell i'm not gonna lie she, her her defense sucks ass but her attack is just is like like why like what were you thinking when they made this you like what were you thinking <laughs> um but yeah they definitely bought milam she's the clear winner of the the old units for sure um but that's gonna be it for the video guys i just wanted to go over the units buffs i just want to go over the banner stuff like that just to make sure you guys understand what is coming the banner is not looking the greatest but it's a rare unit banner so i mean you know do what you will with that information but thank you guys so much for watching if you did get this far into the video i greatly appreciate it be sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel i would greatly appreciate that as well and as always you guys already know i will see you all later